Thanks. Deep pigment. Two words. No. Can't. Come. You can hold the suction and you will be doing this, no? Also, this is your case. Okay. So I will just show you how and then you can do it. Okay? Okay, we have a case for depigmentation. Uh, this is Dr. Shubda's case. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to start with one side and then Dr. Ashwini will do. It is her case and her thesis topic, I think. Uh, we are only using two watts, continuous wave, and now we'll just do a sweeping motion. Okay, we'll start. We'll just start from about the measure of four. Can you see? Yes, sir. Huh? What? Fiber. What fiber you are using? It's a 320 micron fiber. 320 micron fiber? Yeah. Okay, sir. And what are the power settings? Two watts continuous wave. Two watts continuous wave and contact mode. Contact mode. As you can see, I'm only making sweeping action. So you can't see it. Okay. Just let me put that. No, actually thinner fiber, you will not be able to control, it will be very flexible okay. first and even at 2 watts it will uh, have a very high thermal energy because entire energy will be at half, rather I should say one third the size of this fiber. Yeah. I mean, I would have preferred to use a, a 400, 400, but uh, 320 is also fine. Okay. So okay, can you can you see this area? I've just wiped it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can see the epithelium is removed from that area. Okay. Yeah. And totally bloodless. And yeah, it's totally bloodless. And you just make a sweeping uh, motion. As you know, the epithelium will not be more than a few microns. So very easily you can just brush it off. Okay, sir. Sir, what do you think is the ideal wavelength for this procedure in level depigmentation? Like I said, you can use any. This is one procedure. You don't have to worry about whichever laser easily available, you can do it. Okay, personal choice for me would be a CO2. Yes, even for me, personal choice. Or, a, or an RBM YAG. Okay, can you see? Yes, sir. Okay, sometimes the little darkish areas that you see here, yes, sir. one tends to go deeper. Okay. I specifically mentioned about that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Because we have already removed the epithelium. Yes, sir. And you don't worry about that. Automatically when the healing takes place, the fresh epithelium will be minus the pigment. Huh? We are doing, in fact, I have done. 
interdental papilla also just between central lateral is remaining only thing you have to be careful you are not going to touch the tooth okay Yeah. Huh. Uh, no, no, there are no real masks. You can put two masks if you want, but you have to have a smoke evacuator. Okay, so we have just done this area. You can already compare it to the other side. Right? Yeah. I think a little bit on Ashwini, you want to do? You want to do it later? Huh? Okay. They told me to do half the side and then you see how it is. Do it on the other side along with Sharad. Okay? Yeah. The spot from the fiber. Yeah, yeah. It is, see, when we talk of the fiber that we are using 320 micron, that itself is a diameter. The spot size when we are using other, like Erbium Yag and all, or dermatological uh, hand pieces, where a larger area needs to be covered on the skin and all. Then, depending on the area, you choose a spot size of 2 millimeters, 5 millimeters, or whatever. Okay. Here, the fiber, whatever is the fiber, will be your spot size. Okay. Okay. So, the fiber uh, diameter is determined Yeah. So, we have done one side. The other side, they want to do it later. Okay, sir. Monday. Okay? So, we'll go to the next case. 